What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here wait for it not in the state of Florida no today guys we are in Savannah Georgia which is just a well hop skip and a stone's throw from Florida from my base of operations and today you guys we are going to start out this vlog we're going to eat at none other than the pirate's house you see the pirate's house has been around since the 1750s and for many many years since this was savannah georgia's well one of its oldest blocks this building would house sailors and along with these sailors this place became a base for well pirates yes this was a really big safe haven for pirates because quite literally the river is just over there and now because this was also a safe haven for pirates there is a well at least what used to be a tunnel that used to run here beneath this building and it went all the way to the river over here now the story goes it says pirates they would get these men drunk they'd get these sailors these townsfolk and they would bring them beneath this area this walkway they'd bring them out onto the river and next thing these sailors these men from town would know they would be aboard a pirate ship and they would be a part of the crew unwillingly so today guys we are going to get on in on some of some beautiful food um, without further ado i'm going to stop talking let's do it time to anchor down for another vlog let's do it all righty you guys the entrance to the basement is right through here and as y'all can tell not really a whole lot has changed about the fire house now this is the beginning plaque that kind of tells about what we're about to look at right down here yes it is down in that basement about five city blocks pirates would take these sailors these men and well they would unbeknownst become pirates now it says you can get in there with permission which we're going to try to do that today and one more thing i have to show you all this pit right here quite a bit of a drop now but one of the things about this cavern right here they do not know why it was constructed here but the legend goes here at the pirate house at some point this could have housed treasure or so the legend goes but check out all this really cool old architecture like i said this building was constructed in the 5th or 1750s and really honestly i mean just check out the really old stuff that especially that's behind this this glassware very fascinating tell me this does not look super well scary i feel like it this is like one of those uh ghostbuster ghostbusters moments so in the meantime let's eat Y'all are probably wondering what I got right about now. This is blackened snapper. And I forgot exactly what that sauce is, other than it looks really good. Well, let's try it. Oh. 
That's good. That's good. That is really good. Okay now, that was amazing. Okay now, I'm a little bit saddened. I found out that they do not let anybody down there because of the dreaded COVID. But still, one day you guys, I am bent on checking out the basement. Also here, there's a lot of ghost stories associated with that basement as well. But here, I'll make it up to you guys. They have a gift shop. Let's do it. So here we go. Look at all the shirts, you guys. And here is the gift shop. Looks like this guy is just being a dummy. But it does look that there used to be a display box. I will even put ghost stories. But sadly, it's out of order. Looks like we've got some model ships and well, pins, skeleton keys, old bells. I might actually go for that periscope, maybe. Just maybe. Not exactly the pirate I was expecting, but okay. And it looks like we have some pretty cool uh, marble figures. Looks like this guy fell asleep on the job and never woke up. Or at least to say, there are a lot of cool prints here. Very interesting. Okay. I'm just a little bit saddened that we couldn't go in the basement. But I have seen in other channels, very few and seldom, people have gone there and they have filmed various pieces of paranormal activity. One of the coolest pieces of things I think I've seen so far is a really, really cool piece of orb activity. For anyone who doesn't know, orbs are essentially a person's essence. Ghost hunters, they don't really believe that to be paranormal. But, I can kind of beg to differ with, depending on who you're talking to in the paranormal research field. So you guys, this is going to be my vlog for the day. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot to me. It means that she goes to show that y'all care. Always wants me, well, it always makes me want to put out more content. So today, you guys, this is going to be the vlog for the day, and it looks like it's raining. Peace. Anchor down. Vlog over.